I'm gonna kind of walk you through it on my setup. I'm hunting this, uh, got a little old skitter road going out through there. Actually, a little lane going out through there. Got a big cut over here to our left. And right here, we've got uh, three or four good crab apples. I don't know if y'all can see them hanging right up there. I came in here yesterday afternoon, or yesterday during lunch actually, and checked on this place. And you can tell the uh, ground's kind of not conducive to showing up tracks. Uh, I didn't stomp around in there too much, but what I did do was shake the tree, and we had uh, some crab apples fall out. Well, I'm looking under there now, and they're gone. So I know the deer are feeding on this tree. So we're gonna kick this tree right here and see if we get any to fall. Yeah, that'll work. Ain't really a great tree to go up here. It's gonna give me cover and have the wind right too. Except for this water oak tree. Right up there. And I'm kinda wide open. But uh, that's the best we got. So I'm going to ease over there and get set up. And uh, I'll show you the set up once we get up. Alright, this is what we got. Some of y'all, y'all seen some of the other videos I've done. You may recognize this spot. I killed a deer here last year. I actually shot it right there. In the center of the screen. Deer comes in and starts feeding on these crab apples. We should be looking at a 10 to 14 yard shot. Uh, nothing any further than that. And that's just about perfect.
Well, here he is. He uh, came in there pretty much just like I thought he would. And, uh, boy, he, I think he got out there where I had uh, walked, where I kicked the uh, crab apple tree and smelled where I'd walked. At least that's what he acted like anyway. And uh, he got real spooky. And uh, boy, he, in just a minute, he looked up at me up in there in that tree and had me pegged, I mean big time, and I wouldn't look at him. I was, I was looking at him and I was looking through the uh, viewfinder of that camera and uh, just hoping that he would dismiss me as, as harmless. And uh, he finally did, he took his eyes off of me. But I guess the combination of, of that form up in the tree and, and my smell was just too much for him to bear. You know. Boy, he turned around and, and started out of there and I did not have a good angle, but I knew that was the best one I was gonna get. And uh, I tried to shoot him right over his hip and uh, you know, angle up into his chest there. And I guess I shot just a little bit low and hit him in the ham. But I have always heard that a, a ham shot will put one down in a hurry. And uh, <laughs> it will. <laughs> he, uh, I guess he's laying right now about maybe, I'm gonna say 45 yards from where I shot him. He just made a little, run a little circle out here and fell and I heard him pile up. And uh, he'd run out on a west, he was on a dead west bearing and I, uh, I went ahead and got down hoping, you know, I'd have decent light for video and all. But uh, I, I guess it was about a, I don't know, probably about 11 yard, 12 yard shot. And uh, I'll step it off when I get back. <laughs> 